Despite the best efforts of scientists to explain everything, some events continue to elude our understanding. We know that ancient cultures possess powers and knowledge that are incomprehensible to us now, but we will not fully understand how they did many of their accomplishments unless we find out more hints about their lifestyles. According to some scientists, among the components we are missing are several technological breakthroughs from the past that we do not have or can recreate. In this video, we'll look at 16 of the most mysterious ancient technologies that continue to baffle scientists. The Mysterious Antikythera Device The world's oldest computer appeared to have been discovered in 1900 by divers diving into a shipwreck off the coast of Antikythera, Greece. It was built of metal and had a complex gear system. It is thought to have been around for about 2,000 years. The complex artifact, discovered at the bottom of the ocean in 1901, is believed to have been created near the end of the 2nd century BC. According to the study, it computed and displayed astronomical information, primarily lunar cycles and a lunisolar calendar. The secrets of the Antikythera device have been investigated for decades, but no one has been able to explain how it works or its use. It probably was connected to the zodiac signs, moon phases, and solar and lunar eclipses. But the truth is that we have no idea. The Mysterious Damascus Steel Recipe After the Crusades' war, many bewildered Europeans speculated about Islamic fighters' swords that were sharp enough to cut through a flying napkin, bend at a 90-degree angle, then flex again with minimal damage. The composition and content of this much-talked-about Damascus steel recipe remains a mystery in the 21st century. The blades were most likely forged from crucible steel formed by fusing plant materials with iron. However, the kind of steel used to create such a sharp and flexible blade is still a great mystery. The oldest calendar ever made In 2004, the National Trust for Scotland's excavation team in Aberdeenshire unearthed a calendar that most likely dates back to the Stone Age civilization 10,000 years ago. The 50-meter-long parchment calendar records the lunar phases, solar months, and moon phases. Even though the entire parchment reflects a year's solar and lunar cycles, it was accurate enough for users to readjust their lunar and solar calendars each year. To correlate with the moon phases, the calendar employed 10-day weeks, usually three every month. Nanotechnology in Roman times The British Museum in London obtained a 1,600-year-old Roman chalice known as the Lycurgus Cup in the 1950s. It has an apparent color-changing property in response to light. If lit from behind, it had a jade green tint. When lit from the front, however, it was a dark blood red tint. The British Museum's experts were perplexed as to what caused this occurrence. Researchers studying broken pieces of the cup from the 1990s uncovered the answer in a long-ago application of nanotechnology. Gold particles in the cup, manufactured by Roman artisans, were down to 50 nanometers in width, or less than a thousandth the size of a salt granule. The precision with which the cup was crafted implies that the Romans had mastered nanotechnology at the time it was created. The unidentified Roman dodecahedron Perhaps the ancient Romans agreed that these little bronze sculptures would make excellent paperweights or ornaments. Nobody has a thought. They could have been decorative household objects. According to George Hart of Stony Brook University, several of these 12-sided, 4 to 11 centimeter spheroids have been discovered in Europe. People claim that they could maybe be candle stands, surveying equipment, flower stands, finger ring size gauges, or even dice. The Earthquake Detecting Seismoscope of Zhang Heng this luxurious-looking golden vessel surrounded by four dragons and a toad from 132 AD was the world's first human-made seismic detector. The main idea was that when an earthquake happened, each dragon, which represented each of the four cardinal points of the seismoscope, spits a ball into the mouth of a toad to signal the location of the earthquake. According to the report, the seismoscope identified a 400-mile distance earthquake that was not detected at the seismoscope location. To date, the component in the artifact that identified earthquakes is still greatly unknown. Some believe it was a regular pendulum-based device, but the specific science is still unclear. The Ancient Greek Steam Engine The steam engine's name was inspired by the ancient Greek wind god Aeolos. Heron Alexandrinus, often known as the hero of Alexandria, was the one who invented it. The early pile had a sphere and steam shooting nozzles. The torque required for the sphere to rotate on its axis was produced by the steam created by the nozzles. The engine's sphere began to spin steadily at a top speed of 1500 revolutions per minute. Taku al-Din, an arrow polymath, reinvented the steam engine in 1577. The Ancient Romans' Concrete The ancient Romans used a lot of concrete in their construction project and is far better than modern concrete in terms of quality and environmental impact. These combined limestone with volcanic rock before adding salt water to make the concrete. This salt water initiated a chemical change that turned the material into something very long-lasting. According to chemical and molecular investigations, the ancient concrete included components that may be utilized to make current, high-performance concrete. In contrast to modern concrete, which can only last about 50 years, Roman-era concrete has been submerged underwater for more than 2,000 years. 3,000-year-old telescope Archaeologists excavating ancient Assyrian ruins in present-day Iraq 
unearthed a 3,000 year old rock crystal lens in 1850. Scientists have been trying to figure out how it works since its discovery. It could be a three times magnification lens. Perhaps a piece of glass can focus the sun's rays and start a fire. Some experts believe that this crystal lens was part of a prehistoric telescope. The ancient crystal lens could explain both the Assyrian's superior astronomical knowledge and Galileo's assumption that the ancients must have had access to telescopes. Ulfbert Swords of the Vikings The mythical Ulfbert sword created by the Vikings may have been manufactured using Damascus steel inventors' technology or materials. The skill needed to manufacture such refined swords will not be manufactured for another seven to eight hundred years. And this is why researchers were taken aback when they discovered the Viking swords. The common knowledge became possible in 2014, when a 9th century Viking burial site in Scandinavia was discovered with Arabic writing that reads for or to Allah, connecting the two domains. However, this is only speculation. The exact origins of the swords remain a mystery. According to evidence unearthed by German experts in 2020, the Viking swords may have been forged in Germany. Is the Phaistos disc an old typewriter? One of the discoveries at the excavation at the Minoan Old Palace in 1908 is an ancient symbol-covered fire-baked clay disc. The spiral pattern of the 242 inscriptions indicates that the disc was most likely handcrafted. The purpose of the Phaistos disc is unknown to researchers. However, some speculate that it served as a form of proto-alphabet comprised of syllabary rather than an alphabet. Some claim it was an ancient typewriter, while others believe the markings are from an ancient prayer book. The Magical Navigation Gem the early Norse people told stories of a magical sunstone that could determine where the sun was even when it was veiled, helping sailors navigate the vast seas with accuracy. Although legends of such a sunstone may appear as mythological as Thor's hammer, a 2013 finding confirmed that they were true. The mythological sunstone was made of calcite, a crystal that could locate the sun even when it was obscured by clouds. The ability to double refract sun rays enabled extraordinarily accurate navigation, which was critical to its success. It could have appeared to be the ancients who employed the stone for magical purposes. The Ancient Metal Coating Metal coatings are being used on everything from DVDs to artworks to solar panels and electronic products. Metal coatings, on the other hand, are not an innovation, and some archaeological artifacts indicate that the ancients used considerably more complex ways than we do. Despite their lack of detailed knowledge of metals' physical and chemical properties, ancient metallurgists were able to pound metals into very flat strips before attaching them to sculptures, jewelry, and other artifacts. They even used mercury as a glue to keep the extremely thin metal gilding in place. Delhi's Indestructible Iron Pillar the ancient iron pillar located in Delhi weighs 6 tons, stands 24 feet tall, and is aged about 1600 years. It's old, yet it doesn't have any rust on it. Scientists argue about this iron pillar about its rust resistance. To date, scientists have made only two plausible theories about this iron pillar. Some scientists believe that the Delhi, India's temperate climate played a major role in the preservation of this iron pillar. In general, the circumstances were favorable. However, after studying the material of the iron pillar, some experts propose that it all simply boils down to the phosphorus element present in the iron pillar, a lack of manganese and sulfur in the pillar, and the fact of the huge weight of the iron pillar. Well, whatever it is, it is an amazing work of technology. The mind-boggling flying machines of the ancient Indians. Literature published in India around 400 BCE explains the Vimanas, or flying machines, in detail. Maharshi Bhadwaj explained how to maneuver them, what pilots did to prepare the planes for longer journeys, how the planes were propelled through the air, how pilots safeguarded the ships from thunderstorms, and even how to convert the machines to solar power. The descriptions and images of Vimanas continue to perplex researchers. Some believe that the ancient flying machines were a ruse, while others believe that aliens brought the concepts and ideas to the Indians long ago. Others say there is a perfectly reasonable response, but we are not sure. The invention of fire may have been the most significant ever. Although fire is a part of nature, its development as a significant instrument constitutes a historical revolution. In reality, the controlled use of fire likely existed long before Homo sapiens. There is evidence of food cooked with fire dating back to roughly 2 million years before the development of Homo sapiens. Furthermore, there is a suggestion that Homo erectus began using fire in a controlled manner around 1 million years ago. Fire-damaged flint blades have been dated to around 290,000 years ago. Furthermore, there is evidence that around 160,000 years ago, early medieval humans habitually utilized fire to heat cure stone to improve its flaking ability, a trait crucial for tool manufacturing. A disputed theory holds that the capacity to cook with fire allowed hominids to ingest a wider variety of foods, allowing our species' larger brains to emerge in the first place. Throughout history, fire has been used for ceremonies, cooking, industrial activities, cultivation, giving heat and light, signaling, and destruction. It is without a doubt one of the most significant innovations that have had an impact on society. And that brings us to the end of this video. What do you think about these inventions? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell to get notified when we post a new video.